Okay, well, we're going to learn how to draw geometric figures using stencils. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, a lot of people have, have uh, probably had experience with this, but never thought about a visually impaired student or a blind student doing this. Well, if you are, if your student or you uh, are visually impaired, but you're still able to see something, all you need is just some type of clipboard and a piece of paper and uh, some math stencils. The ones that I have here are all uh, stencils that I obtained just as a math teacher off one of the, the math teacher type websites like uh, Delta or ETA Cuisinaire or Didax, uh, whatever, whichever one appeals to you. Or if you are a VI teacher, you might just get, you know, borrow some from your uh, math teacher. So all you do, in fact, I'm going to turn this just because this one's um, to, to kind of match this up a little bit, is you just take your ballpoint pen and hold this down and get your fingers out of the way and trace along on the inside. You can, you can just basically, it's very simple in the sense that you're just, you're, you're feeling where you are. Again, got to keep those fingers out of the way. And I'm probably going to have this all replicated in just a few seconds. I forgot what I've done. Um, let's see what we've done. Yes, okay, so you have just created all of these different things. Uh, circles, uh, hexagons, pentagons, uh, rectangles, triangles, half circles, ovals, uh, or ellipses, etc. And just to let you know, if you don't know, that it is much easier to use a stencil to create a geometric figure rather than if you have something, uh, for instance, like this trying to draw around the outside of a circle is much more difficult and I'm saying that for myself so I, I'm just assuming that everybody else uh, is going to have uh, have difficulty like me maybe not maybe they're just everybody else is much more artistic but uh, it is so simple and easy for me to use a stencil for this circle that there's no way that I would draw all the way around also I just might use a compass if I wanted a, a circle so that's this is this is too simple. I mean, this is something you know that that uh, the sighted world knows how to do. So let's see what happens when we change our drawing board to something like the Sewell Raise Line drawing board. And again, I'm just putting braille paper, and I'm not using their uh, flimsier uh, paper on this. And I will take I'm going to take the same exact stencil. And remember, this is still I haven't changed anything but the drawing board. Uh, and, and again, the, actually I had brow paper uh, for the sided uh, thing. But what, So what I've changed is the drawing board. This is like a rubber sized, a rubber, rubberized kind of uh, uh, mat on a hard surface. So that's what you, what you really need to do this type of thing. Something with a hard surface with the rubber on it. Could be just a rubber pad on a tabletop if you can't afford this or don't have one and need something quickly. So here we have, here we have this stencil. And again, the same things that I was doing before, you're going to use that pen. You, the, the blind students can just follow right along. When they, when they hit that vertex, they just you know, go the other direction. And they have no trouble with this as well. Now, I'm going to try not to do it too much differently than I, than I showed you just a moment ago. But let's see what kind of different results do we get then. Because here I have, I've got the same type of paper. I have the same stencil. I have the same drawing element. So what's made? What ha what's happened differently? Looks the same, doesn't it? Looks pretty good, but it still looks the same until you turn it over. And I'm not sure if the camera can get in on that. You should be able to see that all of those figures are now tactually discernible. So the student could do whatever. He wouldn't be drawing this many figures. But if he wanted to just draw one particular one for whatever he needed in geometry class, there, there he has that particular figure. Now, again, it's, it's a tactile thing because the ballpoint pen is on this side. The tactile ability or, you know, the ability to feel the texture is on this side. But all of my students can do this. Even the ones that I just have for one week, they zip through this. But you would be amazed how many students have never, ever gotten the opportunity 
to do this and even know that this is something that they could use uh, in their geometry class or, or any other type of class. They might need this for some other class where they're having to do some type of a, a drawing and they could actually use this. And, and, and bottom line, you're going to use, you know, you might want to use a, a different stencil. In fact, we're going to use a different drawing board and I'll use these other stencils so that I won't be doing the same thing over and over again.